So the one, number one thing I get asked all the time is what do I do to maintain my boat? So the very first thing you need to do is wash it out real good. You use some kind of a soap and water, a disinfectant. I've got some, some here and a scrub brush. And you just wash it out and scrub it out real good. I've already done this, this boat. So I, I do mine in the fall. I wash mine out in the fall. And when I get it all done, I let it dry. If you're going to do it in a, <coughs> and then in the spring, I, I do what I'm doing right now. Um, you can do the whole thing on a weekend. You can do it over a couple weekends. You can wash it out in the fall or in the spring. That doesn't really matter. But you wash it out real good. Use some type of disinfectant, uh, laundry soap uh, and uh, bleach. Or, uh, or a borax are two good, really good items. And so you can see, if you look inside here, you can see that it's relatively clean in here. I've uh, cleaned it all up. And so when I come back in the spring, uh, or after I've washed it out, I take a small paint scraper uh, right here, and I just kind of go down the go down and go in between the wrists and anything that's uh, that's loose or whatever I I scrape that off and then I vacuum it out okay, so I just kind of demonstrated that I've already done all that, that on this boat now so now I'm going to do the finish inside. So the finish inside, we've got, basically what I've got is, in this spray bottle right here, in this spray bottle right here, I've mixed up some of this uh, clear wood preservative. There's the, there's that there. So some clear wood preservative and varnish. That's the varnish that we use, lignum varnish. Any kind of a spar varnish, that's what you're looking for, spar varnish. Any type of spar varnish. And I've mixed it up into, the, mixed, mixed it in here. Now, how much you mix in here doesn't really matter. Um, right now I've got probably about two parts preservative to one part varnish in there, but basically all you're doing is thinning it. If this one here, I could probably put a little more varnish because it's getting a little bit bare wood, but um, I like how much I like how it sprays. The idea is to have it thin enough that it sprays. And so then I just start in here and I start up at the front. Hopefully it works here. Yep, there we go. And I just keep spraying it in there until everything's all wet. And I just basically do underneath the seats kind of thing. Just spray there. So we'll just go down the boat. And you'll see it goes fairly quick when you use this little sprayer. So now I'm going to explain something here. I've put the wood preservative and the varnish together because those two can mix together. Uh, some people have a hard time getting uh, the wood preservative uh, that I've shown you here. Uh, especially if you're in the U.S. They don't, I don't think uh, a lot of places in the U.S. they've got it uh, banned. They don't sell that type of wood preservative that mixes with the varnish. So you have to put the wood preservative in separate. Uh, there's a mixture on the website of borax and boric acid that you can make your own borates, or you can buy the, or you can buy borate uh, wood preservative from the from the hardware stores. Um, the only thing with that is, is you can't mix it in with the varnish, so you have to do this twice. Put the wood preservative in, let it dry. If it's like if it's a water-based uh, wood preservative, you put it in, let it dry, and then uh, um, then you uh, from there you would uh, uh, let it. Want, and then you would put the varnish in, and the varnish you would you have to thin it down so it goes through a sprayer like this. If you want to use a sprayer, or you could just use a brush and put it in full strength. I don't really like putting too much varnish on the inside bottom uh, simply because it helps promote if you get the too big a build up of varnish in the bottom it helps promote dry rot and the whole idea is to avoid the dry rot 
So washing it out real good with the disinfectant, that helps kill the dry rot. Putting this wood preservative in helps kill the dry rot. And that's the big key, keep the dry rot. This boat here we're looking at, it's a 1992. I've had it, it, it served its first few lives in a, in a, a tourist, at a tourist camp. And so it, uh, oh, I gotta move this here. So it uh, had a pretty rough life for its first 10 years. And then I bought it and I've had it for all, over 20 years. And uh, there's no dry rot in this boat. It's in really good shape, and I do this every year. Just what you're seeing here. And you can see I'm almost done, and how quick it is. It doesn't take very long at all to do this. And even if you don't put any varnish in, even if you just put the wood preservative in, if it doesn't look like, if there's no bare wood and you don't need to varnish it, then don't varnish the inside. It's not, it's not that important that that you have varnish on the inside. The varnish just keeps the wood from turning gray and dark, is all it does. It doesn't, uh, it doesn't prevent wood, it doesn't prevent the uh, dry rod or anything like that. So now I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn this to real fine spray and I'm gonna do the, do the sides here with this because it's got enough varnish in it that it'll clean that up too. Like I said, don't need a big heavy coat of varnish on the inside. So, once I get this done, and then the next thing is, is I'll, I'll varnish the sides and uh, the outside side and uh, the deck and the seats. And I'll varnish them all by hand. Sometimes you'll see some of the spots that have gotten a little bare kind of soak up the because this is so thin it'll soak it up you can don't feel free to give it another coat don't worry about that like as you're going along just give it a second coat yeah so now all I have left to do now is just to varnish the tops of the seats do the sides of the boat right here sides of the boats here. Now this boat's fiberglass on the bottom so I don't have to do anything on the bottom. If you have one that's not fiberglass or painted, if it's painted you might want to look at repainting it um, depending on what kind of shape it's in. Um, if it's varnished I usually varnish the bottom of it and you can use the same spray bottle if you want. Uh, just put varnish in it without the wood preservative or you can put it on with a brush. Doing the bottom of the boats, uh, different thing. With the fiberglass, you can get away for two or three years without touching the bottom, especially if it's painted like this. This one here, I haven't done the bottom on it probably for, it's been probably seven or eight years since I last did the bottom on it. And uh, so, so that, that's pretty well it. I'll do the sides with the pure varnish and the seats with pure varnish. The inside you do with wood preservative and varnish if, if you want, so depending on how you, uh, how you want to do it. But you can, but that, that's pretty well it. That's, that's all you need to do to, to uh, maintain your boat every year. Thanks very much.